Hi everyone, it's Kendall and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a 8 sim family home. <laughs> That's right, I did name it this time. Um, usually I don't really name my houses because I'm not really sure what to call them. But um, I did name this one because I made an 8 sim family. There's the pa two parents, twin teenagers, a boy and a girl, twin kids, a boy and a girl again, and a toddler and a dog. So 8 sims and I counted the dog as a sim because you know like it's like the family dog kind of you know how like a lot of families they have like a dog or a cat or like even like a turtle or a hamster or money or something like they have a family pet this dog is a family pet and um this didn't take this took me like two and a half hours um it was in like three or four parts five parts five parts i did like no one two three four six parts <laughs> because when i build i get distracted a lot because i live with two th three people and a dog <laughs> so i have to like take care of the dog or like do stuff for my family or like you know put my clothes away or eat dinner or go to the bathroom or something like that so i always have to like cut my videos um a lot i never get a chance to just sit and do like two and a half hours of just build 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 i always have to cut it um so yeah, this was not in, like, six parts. I know you probably don't care. You're, like, Kayla. Or, did I just call myself Kayla? Oh, my God. I've been watching way too much Lil Simsy lately. Um, Lil Simsy is my favorite um, Sim streamer. Er, Sim streamer slash YouTuber. She uploads every day, and she streams, like, every other day-ish. So, um, she's, like, my favorite, you know, YouTuber slash streamer. And I've been watching her videos so much, and her out, her beginning, her like intro was like, "Hi everyone, it's Kayla," and I, now I almost called myself Kayla. I know I'm really stupid, but uh, my name's Kendall, by the way. <laughs> um, and I have a really scary slash kind of disgusting story to tell you. It's not really gross. It's kind of just like, oh, that's really sad. It's kind of actually sad. Um, so yesterday. My mom has, like, a cold. She's, like, been sick for a couple weeks. Or, no, like, a week and a half she's had this cold, right? And, um, so she started taking, like, cold medicine and, like, cough medicine and all that stuff because she's, like, can't stop coughing. She can't stop sneezing. Like, it, she has, like, a bad cold. And, um, so she went to take her medicine yesterday and she dropped one of her pills. And it was, like, an inch-long orange pill. I know this because you'll see. It was like an inch long and orange and she dropped it and she thought it rolled onto the ground she was like in the bathroom and my dog steals anything she can get she's a freaking vacuum when it comes to like eating things she'll eat shoes shirts pants socks like she won't eat them she'll kind of rip them up or take them to get your attention and so like we can't leave our clothes on the ground we have to like put like me and my sister we both have like retainers we have to put them like if we put them on a counter, we have to put them by, like, the wall so she can't get them. She steals dish towels off the island. She's, like, the worst. And so, um, yesterday, my mom drops one of her pills, and she thought it went on the ground. And my dog was in the bathroom, and she took it. Well, she thought she took it. You'll see why she thought she took it. Um, and she thought that my dog ate it. And it said on the box that it was poisonous to cats and dogs. So we got really, really scared and um so we had to give her this thing called hydrogen peroxide and it's not poisonous but it ta it smells terrible and it's so disgusting and it ta it probably tastes even worse and we had to give her like a, a ounce and a half of it like it was a teaspoon for every 10 pounds you had to give a dog and she'd throw up so my mom looked it up she was like how do we get the dog to throw up so she'll throw up like the pill and the medicine so it doesn't poison her and so we gave her hydrogen peroxide she threw up everything she had in her stomach she went outside and she puked which was good and she threw up everything she had in her stomach and it was really really sad because we had to give it to her with a turkey baster like she wasn't just gonna drink it so like we i like held her mouth open and my mom like pretty much just like just like squirted it in her mouth and she had to swallow it because she wasn't just gonna like spit it out she's a dog she doesn't she can't do that so it and like we didn't like put the turkey baster down her throat like that would be really bad we just like kind of like put it in her like rest it in her mouth and like squirt it out and she like had it in her mouth and then she had her tail tucked under her butt and i felt so so terrible like this whole time um 
and I was like shaking so I started having a panic attack because I thought my dog was gonna go and have a seizure because she ate I see in quotes this cold medicine and because it said that the side effect would be like a seizure you know it's poisonous to cats like animals but then my dog threw up she de- she like threw up everything she had in her stomach and then her mouth was like foaming because that's what the hydrogen peroxide does it makes your like stomach like bubble not don't if you're a human do not take hydrogen peroxide if you want to throw up it won't work <laughs> only like on animals this works um and it tastes terrible so you wouldn't want to do it anyway but i'm just saying that um you oh i just lost my train of thought she like there was like foam coming out of her mouth because it makes your stomach like foamy so then you have to throw up and then <laughs> my god this was so bad she um was like drooling and finally she like felt better she was just like i was just like building this and she was laying on my floor in my room and then my mom walks in my room and she was like guess what and she puts she thought the pill she thought she dropped and she thought my dog ate was in her hand i was like what the heck so we just made her throw up for nothing because um so my dog like she thought she took the pill and ran downstairs because my dog when she takes things she runs away from you she won't drop it she'll run away and make you chase her (laughs) pretty much um but she ran downstairs and my mom went down to try to get it from her and she did this thing like what she does when she's done like eating something she like kind of like m- like open and close her mouth like and makes like a weird noise when she like swallows stuff and my mom was like she said that she made that noise so she did eat something but it wasn't the pill because my mom found the pill in the bathroom it was on the counter it was under the remote but it was so scary like i had a freaking panic attack like i was like shaking and crying and like breathing really heavily and just like i was so scared that my dog was like poisoned and was gonna die um and it was like i don't know why but it was so scary to me because like it was like we made her throw up like 20 minutes after she took it like she ate i say in quotes the pill (laughs) she didn't but she did throw up and I was like, well, and then she felt like much better. We gave my mom, me and my mom and I were like guilt feeding her because we made her throw up everything, like all her food that she had eaten in the morning, all the water and everything, like the hydrogen peroxide made her puke it up, like all of it out. (laughs) And it was just like such a really, really scary thing because my dog, I'm not going to tell this story because it's really sad, but I'm just going to give you the gist. My dog, when she was about six months old, was hit by a car. So yeah, my dog was hit by a car when she was like six months old. It was, it's a long story. I don't want to tell it. It will bring back really bad memories and make me start having a panic attack again. But, um, I like actually like saw it happen and it was the scariest experience ever because she was like a puppy, like a, like a small puppy. Like she wasn't even full grown. And so it was like really traumatizing and her getting poisoned i say in quotes she didn't because she didn't actually (laughs) eat the pill but you know her like like uh, that if she had eaten that pill and we hadn't like say she had eaten the pill and we hadn't like gotten it out of her she would have had like a seizure and it would have been very bad and so that happening would have literally like traumatized me to no end like i would be so eh, that it, it would just be so scary and so like <laughs> i like had like a panic attack ne- yesterday and at first like so now i'm gonna talk about my anxiety i say it's not like diagnosed but it's i know i have it and it's <laughs> it's not it okay how do i say this i'm claustrophobic first of all which is um a huge thing like i'm scared of elevators i need like if i'm in an elevator with a lot of people it's not like the elevator itself it's when i'm jammed in with a bunch of people in the elevator (laughs) i'm claustrophobic and then when say like i'm gonna throw up or something like i'm sick and i need to throw up or no it's when i think i'm sick and I think I'm gonna, th- like, I think I'm gonna throw up, but I'm not actually gonna throw up. Because when I actually throw up, I don't shake or anything. I don't have, like, anxiety problems when I'm actually gonna puke. <laughs> I know this is kind of gross, but when that's actually gonna happen, I don't shake or anything like that. But when I think I'm going to, like, my stomach hurts and stuff like that, 
I like shake and I didn't know why I thought it was just because I I'm kind of nervous about throwing up because throwing up's like really gross and I don't I hate it so much I don't even want to think about it but <laughs> I don't want to think about it it's really gross but um I'm sorry if I'm kind of discussing anyone who's watching this but um it I didn't know why I would shake I didn't know why that would happen and like it would be mostly my knees and like my legs would like really like shake a lot and that would just be really just nerve-wracking and stuff like that to me and so now whenever I get really nervous like hmm, when did it happen um when I built my desk to put like in my room I got a new desk and my my dad and I built it and we put it all together in the garage but my room is on the second floor so we had a he had he and my sister because I wasn't strong enough at the time had to carry it up the stairs right and he does things <laughs> out of pure stubbornness like he's so like stubborn and just wants to get things done that he does it out of pure anger pretty much and so when he does it I'm so scared that he's gonna like you know fall or something like that because he's like ah uh, he's almost 49 i think right yeah i think so yeah he's almost 49 so it's not like it's just really scary to me and like he was putting we mount our microwave in our kitchen on the wall and we got a new one recently and he was putting it on the wall and i was so scared that he was going to drop it on his head because it was like 70 no it was probably like 90 pounds and he was really tired and you know I just I get really nervous and I know I noticed that also when I get really nervous like that I shake and it and I breathe really heavy my heart starts racing and I didn't know what it was then I was like wait that happens when I need to throw up that happens when I when my dad is doing really dumb stuff that happens when I'm just you know <laughs> like I don't know why but I didn't know what was happening and I was like wait I'm having a panic attack like these are pan like anxiety to the max <laughs> when I shake and I'm like I like need to do something up like I don't know when I'm <laughs> I can't speak today I need to do something about it like when that happens I just I want to help I want to do anything I can to like make it stop like stuff like that and it's just so like meh. like I don't like it and when I'm doing things that make me nervous it I know that I'm gonna start having a panic attack and I'm like oh my god oh my god oh my god and it sucks a lot like it, when it comes to my dog that is when it's the worst and I like cry and I shake and it's really oh <laughs> it sucks a lot but um you know, I think that, you know, I'll get over it someday, but my, my dad has, like, claustrophobism, whatever it's called. My mom has a little bit of anxiety, um, but, like, I think that's where I get it. My sister doesn't have it at all, <laughs> but I do, and it really sucks. So, if you have anxiety like I do, I'm very sorry because it sucks a lot. I know it sucks a lot, but I'm sure someday you kind of, like, get over it, not, like, you stop having anxiety you kind of like it lightens up you get more like oh it's not that bad but i overreact to things a lot like i'll make things so much worse than they need to be uh like situations i'll be like oh my god oh my god i'm gonna die <laughs> like stuff like that but like it's not as bad as i make it sound and i think that's my problem i just make things so much worse than they need to be and so my dog like getting sick in quotes yesterday um was one of something that set me off and i really didn't want to do anything all day i facetimed my cousin and i literally i just wanted someone to like my cousin's my best friend i just wanted someone to be there just like like even like just not even like talking just like knowing her presence is on my phone pretty much um and it helped some and she and she was like can i gotta go because we weren't even talking we were just like on snapchat I, it just felt better to have someone there that kind of understood because she understands me a lot she's very quiet but she does and um she's like kendall 
I gotta go. And I was like, um, okay. <laughs> and, um, oh my god. I know, I sound so stupid right now. I get, like, I overreact about the smallest little things. Like, one time I was thinking, if I ever, like, just randomly, I was like, what if I have to fly alone somewhere? Like, fly on a plane alone somewhere? Well, I'm gonna die. <laughs> like, I'm I'm gonna get lost in customs. I'm, I'm, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna get lost in security. I'm not gonna be able to find my terminal. I'm never gonna fly somewhere alone. I haven't been on a plane in six years. No. Yeah, five years. Like, that is how much I overreact about things and it's so stupid but you know I guess it's just me being a young person <laughs> I don't know but um by the way this is not a starter home so oh and the reason it's shaped like that is because there's a house really close to me that is shaped like that and I thought it was cool so I wanted to try it but it doesn't really look that good in the sims anyway I think I'm gonna go now thank you guys so much for watching this video like subscribe and Comment whatever you want to do. I still don't have an outro. <laughs> Alright. Bye, guys.